Hi, I'm Rob, and this is Gems of War, and it's Guild Wars Day 5, Blue Day. Right, I've got a few teams I'd like to use on, on Blue Day. Um, this one's pretty cool, we're in Elementalist class. We're using Rope Dart, Sycorax, Queen Beatrix, and Mirage Queen. Mirage Queen gives all elemental allies a 50% start with mana, which is really, really cool. And as well as that, we get to curse all enemies, which can be really handy. As well as that, we get to convert all green gems to Doom Skulls, which we'll be looking out for during the course of the game. Sycorax is elemental, so he's going to gain a 50% start there on those um, on the mana. So he'll get 12 out of his required 25 immediately. And we also get that quick start, so we get 7 out of our required 14 on our rope dart. As well as having that awesome third trait in the elemental class to stun, freeze, burn and entangle a random enemy when matching 4 or more gems. On the champion talent side of things, we've got Snap Freeze, so we freeze a random enemy at the start. Insulated while being immune to, to Frozen ourselves. Stone Circle, all brown allies gain 3 armor. Storm Aura, create a dust storm at the start of the battle. No, I'm not sure about that one, I'll have to check that because that was set up for the brown day. Rock Solid, gain, gain a barrier when matching a brown gems. Stone Mastery, gain bonus brown from brown matches. And Fortitude, I will check that... Um, trait actually the crater dust storm i'm not sure if that's gonna be the best one for today and yeah the way that'll work is obviously like um we'll try and get rope dart charged up and drag and the their whoever their first main enemy is to the front that's probably going to be stealthy i'd imagine no well that's good okay so um should be able to grab them to the front. Obsidius is pretty dangerous as well, especially with that stun all enemies on four or five gem matches, because that is going to take away our Elementalist third trait. Um, in an ideal world, we'll get a couple of four matches and stun him first with <laughs> that Elementalist third trait. So yeah, basically we'll be um, charging up the team as quick as we can, and then once Sycorax is charged, we'll be casting that on blue if we can, because Sycorax gets to double a chosen colour on the board then create uh, three more of gems of that color so if it's any of his colors you can do it on green blue or brown and he'll get charged up himself at the same time which is really really handy um so you can give a load of life to the team at the same time queen beatrix is there for that awesome third trait one of the absolute best traits in the game for me cleanse all allies when matching four or more gems which does a lot of uh, true scatter damage and has a chance to get her mana back as well so which is really cool that's the main team i'm using if i feel it's not suited to a certain team may choose to change it up a little bit this is a really cool team which is built around ultimate board control once this gets going you can actually repeat this uh, cast again and again and again mirage queen again gives elementals a 50 percent start so winter imp gets going nice and quick on that as does shabani vespera her spell is really cool because it gives a certain amount to a random skill on an ally, then creates nine gems of their mana color, then repeats this for two more two more times for random allies. Now, the reason why that's relevant is we use as, as few different colors as we can. We've only got uh, everyone using blue, obviously, but basically, like a rare Anu Scepter and Winter Imp only use blue. When you cast that, you cast it on typically Anu Scepter, and that has a chance then of raising the attack the life, the magic, and, and things like that. And that's going to generate a load of blue then, which is going to charge up the whole team again. And basically, you can often rinse and repeat that until Winter Imp has major power out of control because we gain eight magic on blue gem matches. And then you cast Winter Imp and go crazy. I like this team, but um, it doesn't have a cleanse, which is why I don't like it in certain, certain teams. Because basically, when I create a team... I like to look out for certain things. I want a fast start, which I've got with here. I like a cleanse, which I've got with Beatrix. I like a mana generator, like I've got with Sycorax. I like a life giver, like I've got with Sycorax. So I've pretty much got all the things I like in this team. The only thing this team is missing, which I like, is a summon. So um, that is the only thing it's missing. So this is a team I am going to roll with today, I think. I do have a Zulgoff team as well, which is pretty neat. That's um, Celestial Flask, Sycorax, Zulgoth, and Beatrix. Basically, we're in Tidecaller because we get a fast start as well. 
we were on um, seven out of our required 14. So all we need is a blue or a red to get us going. And then we create potions of blue, green, red, yellow, or purple. And basically that will charge up the other troops really, really nice and fast. And you just take it from there. But I'm not using this one because the game has had a habit of just giving me yellow when I cast that lately. It's like um, it kind of knows what I like in this team and says, actually, I'll give you the one color which you don't want, which is yellow. So for that reason, I am going to roll with this team and hope we don't get stunned first. And I'm just going to check that talent, actually. Well, I remember. Create a dust storm. Blue eyes going for life. That's probably better, to be fair. Don't particularly want a ton of brown immediately. And banners were on plus two blue, plus one green. Minus one red. Can we do better than that? No, that's actually fine. I don't really... Not too bothered about Mirage Queen losing one red. But it is important to get plus two blue and plus one green. And that's the only one that done that like that, I think. All right. So let's um, let's go. Right, now four matches immediately. So we have to look out for this converter now. Transform all green to blue. All right, let's see where this is a danger. It's four matches you're looking out for, basically. If some of the things I'm saying are obvious, it's because I try and do my videos for new players of the game as well, not just the experienced ones. So green to blue is not an issue up there, but it is down here. So for that reason, I need to mess this up. And I'm going to mess it up by going this way. So everything in that row is going to come down by one. And that is safe that way. And that way, it's going to bring that green down to one, two, three. That's going to be technically a little bit worse. So I want to take blue. But I absolutely definitely need to mess this up first. So I'll have to do that. And deal with that. All right, there's our first four match. We'll definitely take this for cigarettes. Now we can concentrate on building our life up if we like. See, they've got their tome charged up already. Wow. Pure evil. So this does 64 scatter damage plus four per champion level. And a mix of six blue and skulls for every blue enemy. Right, if that drive decides to create a load of skulls, that can be bad news. But we do have him entangled at the front. So that is a major, major bonus in our favour. And we've got a load of blue there. So we'll make the most of this and start getting some um, a bit of life. Do like to cast this a few times with Sycorax if you can. We'll keep a lookout for green to skulls for Mirage Queen because she's charged too. But... Make hay while the sun shines when you got this charge up like this. And that is the first big threat out of the way. Obsidius is gone. You are history, mate. What I'll do now is I'll drag that annoying book to the front. We've still got 14 on blue. So still a really, really good chance. This is like 80% chance, I reckon, to get extra turn when you got like, so like 14. That is quite a bit of health now. I am looking for any green to a four match. 17 blue. I'll just do this one more time. You can never have too much health. And because that's blue, that charges up the whole team. Right. I want to take out that. Even though they're all entangled, this is, just should be pretty straightforward now, to be honest. But I do want to take out that book first. So I'm going to cast that on him again. Because... You get an extra turn with Rope Dart when it's fully charged up. When you go to the... It's not in the uh, normal traits. You have to go to the upgrade the path for it, and then you upgrade it. And I'll, it's probably the last one, which gives you an extra turn. All right, I'll cast this. Not for the health, because I want to mix up the board a bit and see if we can get any green like this, which is what we've got now. So I can cast Mirage Queen. Gives them a wallop. Up. 
Use rope dart to switch them around because she can summon a Queen Mab if she ever gets to, to cast part of her spell. That's worked out lovely. Any green two skulls? Nope. How much is she going to do? 122. Oh, not quite enough to, to kill him outright. But if we cast that first, then that will be. If we got this, I might grab these to get charged up first. Because then Beatrix has got a chance to get her um, uh, mana back on extra turn. And that will leave us, oh, one short of being fully charged. That's the first game. Nice and straightforward. Long may it continue. Not like yesterday's struggles. Blink and neck. I think it was match three and four yesterday. <laughs> Two of the best games I've ever played on Guild Wars. Not because I played well, I didn't. But just for the actual enjoyment factor of just how good those fights were. Absolutely superb. Extremely enjoyable. Another book. This time they got a couple of converters. Transform all green to blue and all red to blue. So really got to look out for that. And Storm Knight is going to deal 48 true damage to an enemy. And if the enemy uses blue, which we do, destroy a column and gain 5 attack. It's an unusual weapon to use. But I'm not going to take it for granted. Because sometimes these things come to surprise you. Well, we've got A4 match, which is a nice start. No point looking at the mana converters yet until you've taken the four matches because things are going to change anyway during the game as you take these four matches. That sounds obvious, but I've actually seen people playing the game, sitting there looking at um, what these are going to do. And there's a four match that they're going to take first. It's like, what are you doing? <laughs> we all do silly things. I've done plenty of silly things on this game, believe me. Right. Got to look out for green to blue. Look out for that first. Green, there's nothing, 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 a little bit, not worried about that. Uh, and red to blue, red to blue is an issue. Right, so we can disrupt that by taking that blue. But there, I'm going to click that one, that brings that one down, all of them down to there. So they're going to get a mana surge from that if they cast that. So, right, we can't disrupt that. What I will do, just check if he's stealthy or not first. No. So I can drag him to the front with my rope dart. Did we get lucky with green to skulls? We've got a three match. We'll grab that first, see if that generates anything better. That's going to be very near near to him being dead. Actually, it's Doom Skulls. That's going to do 15 extra damage. That's going to be enough. See you later. Oh, blinking out. Lovely, lovely little string there. Fantastic. That's what we want to see. None of this struggling malarkey of yesterday to get things working. And nearly got a four match again. We've got that one there. But they're entangled, so... Oh, I haven't even got it charged yet. I'm looking at something that's not actually charged. So, well, this game is pretty much done. Oh, shame Beatrix. Not Beatrix. Um, Mirage Queen is not charged now. Let's see if we can use this opportunity to charge the uh, team up. Uh, only seven blue. Not good. Do Let's see what happens with that. That yeah, will do, I think. Yeah, we haven't got everybody charged, but hey ho, it's a nice quick win. Fight three, who we got? Kelly. This is the ideal sort of team against these um, goblin teams because as long as you get a couple of four matches, then you can slow this team down with freezes and. Elementalist, you get a random freeze at the start as well. So, 
This team, I'm sure everybody's seen it a million times before, and it's all about just getting the team charged up, and they just keep repeating and repeating through uh, getting the whole team charged up with repeated turns. And Flaming Oni is important to take out because he creates three more goblins if he's um, alive and there's the sufficient gaps. So I've actually had some bad fights against this sort of team before where he's not been dead and these first three have gone and then suddenly you get three more goblins. So important to take him out. But String Fiddler is an absolute pain as well. In fact, they all are. All goblins are a pain, let's face it. Right, no four matches, so... Let's see if we can get our rope dart charged up. That's something. Don't mind him taking that skull hit. I want him to do that. Alright, I want the string fiddler, if anything. Entangled. What happened there? That didn't go on anybody. Is someone immune? Ah, oh, I went on him. He was immune to everything. Damn it, Janet. Alright, that's flaming only. Only. Entangled. And String Fiddler. Excellent. This is what I wanted. Alright, Mirage Queen is ready to cast, but it's not really that great right now. But I will do this on String Fiddler. So I can't stand that troop. He's absolutely annoying. This is going to charge up Sycorax, and there's no real danger of them getting anything relevant from their next turn. Could do 11 brown, it's only good for Sycorax though, so not ideal. <coughs> While he's entangled, I don't mind casting this and only getting a single skull hit out of it, because it's going to generate some more skulls everywhere, and then they can only take one of them. Unless they miraculously get cleansed at the same time their round starts. So I'll do this. They are entangled. Now we've got... Oh, whoa. they got others charged as well. That was uh, an unexpected side effect. Hmm, what to do now? Well, String Fiddler can be dead. That's a bit risky to cast that on anything 10 or 11. It's almost 50-50, I would say. <clears throat> Anything less than that. A little bit less than that. So, I might take this and see if I can skull bait them. Just making sure I can't cause any... Right, I'll take this one because we may get this and then if another skull drops there, we'll get that too. I got bandit, I can live with that. Alright, flaming only cast there and he's frozen. Well, this is turning out to be more hard work than I or what I wanted. Sycorax is Right, I'm gonna risk it on blue. Twelve is a decent amount. We've got a high chance of an extra turn there and got it. Now this Grab that thing. Alright, that's going to get me a skull and blue. But I really could do with some green or brown for Sycorax, actually. I don't mind leaving them that at the moment. I can take three more hits. No, I can't. Two. The other two are frozen. It's going to be so near to killing him. I think that's my best bet. And we've got an extra turn, which was fortunate, <coughs> but I'll take it. Do some blue, get some extra health, change the board around a bit. Wouldn't mind getting a lucky skull hit with this um, transforming going on. Uh, we've got Mirage Queen now up here, which is good. We'll do that. We do want to get that out of the way, that weapon that's done now. Good. Right, now we can start working on 
these. Should have done flaming only, only really. That was a little bit clumsy. But Norbert's oh, turnip is annoying too. Do this on blue. Now I'll grab flaming only. I'm not doing this particularly anymore for the uh, health benefits. I'm doing it for the for the fact that um, I can use rope dart still and change the board around. And change the board around, you've got a chance of some random skull hits too. And also the possibility of the lineups. All right, let's get this done now. Let's um, get flaming only to the front. And let's see what we can do. Let's go, Beatrix. And that will do. All right, I'm not going to mess around. Just going to end it with Beatrix. Got a little bit shady at one point, but um, pulled through. I do love that cleanse of um, Beatrix. Didn't need it then, but uh, it's such a handy troop to have. I think the cleanse on that third trait of hers is absolutely superb. Right, so what we've got here, Elementalist class, so they're going to freeze us, but obviously Sycorax is immune to all that tomfoolery. This is going to be a convert purple to red, brown to skulls, and moon rabbit blue to yellow. So it's all about kicking our butt with Divine Bis Dishbala, Ishbala. And they got the old rope dart too. So yes, we need a nice start on this. Let's go. There's a couple of four matches there straight away, so I gladly accept this. Take it this way rather than down, so I think there's less way, there's less chance of messing up this purple one. Or doing that. Right, before I do that, let's check around for green to skulls, which we haven't got. Now let's see what's going to happen here. Could, really could have done with her being entangled, but what I can do, I can use rope dart now and just switch things around. So that's really, really handy. So basically if I want to grab the hero or this one here and grab them to the front because they're entangled and then don't really have to think about the converters because it doesn't actually matter too much. Ironically, don't actually want to kill them just yet because if they do get to convert, and Ishbala's not entangled again. So I'd rather grab me some mana from somewhere. What are they going to do anyway? Blue to yellow. Not seeing that as an issue. So in that case, I will... Let them do that convert. Yeah, not a problem. Got to be ready for this, you see, because Ishbala does red to skulls and green to yellow. So, in an ideal world, I'd remove away some of that possibility because she's really nearly charged and she can collect her yellow from here purple from there from there we really can't stop her from doing that but I can stop her spell from being effective and that's going to take the green and give me purple at the same time which I don't use but it's still taking away that green to yellow possibility so I will do that oh, I didn't get the purple Mis misjudged that one right so she's got red to skulls, nothing going on there. And green to yellow. Uh, I can let her do that quite happily. Go for it, is she? 
want to take something which leaves all them gems the way they are. Alright, if I move that red, if I take this purple, move that red to there, that's still safe. Want to cause a minimum, min minimum disruption to the field. Alright, that's worked out excellent. All right, and onwards and upwards. Let's grab someone else and kill their armor. Hopefully he's entangled, so not a big deal. Must be a way of getting a skull hit and yellow at the same time out of this, surely. Oh, yeah, there is down here, look. Right, I don't actually want yellow, but... Oh, I can do it that way, because the sickle is charged, but... Doesn't matter. How many blues there? 10, 15 yellow. Just do that, just to get Reptile charged up again. That's got a guaranteed extra turn. Oh, we've got Mirage Queen here. Awesome. Another free bash there. Extra turn. On Rope Dart. Oh, shame Mirage Queen's not ready again. Look at that. Wow, that would have been awesome. And this should be enough. Yes. Oh, I'm forgetting to look at the bloody scores. 1,615 that turn, time. Right, last one, Paragon. What you got? Ah, uh, the scurvy sea dog, doomed tome, treachery. Daughter of ice, treachery is interesting. It's interesting being in third place. Okay, so we're going to get green to blue, red to blue, and just go nuts with that. Alright, so same tactics as before, try and charge up the team if we need to with Sycorax, if not drag that tome to the front and bash it into oblivion. And hopefully get some four matches along the way, which is would be really nice. Right, that's charged up. No more four matches. But we need to be really careful now on what these do. Right, green to blue. All right, they got all that all day there. That's not fun at all. And red to blue. Red to blue is not an issue. But this is. Big style. Right, if I take this blue one, I'm going to get to take the blue and the green away. I think that is my best bet, and hope nothing horrible, nasty drops here instead. So I'll do that. Yeah, we've got a fluky extra turn. Bargain. Right, let's check around again. Right, blue to green. Diddly squat. Red to blue. No, blue to green, what am I talking about? Green to blue. Nothing. Red to blue. Safe. So... I would like to get... Reptile... Um, um, Sycorax charged up. Just want to make sure there's a minimum chance of anything happening if I drop this down. So that's going to come... One, two, three. That one's going to drop... One, two, three. We're safe. Right, this should be safe to take this. Oh, it's giving him a little bit. No, it hasn't. Good. Phew! 
Right, and that's converted all those blue for us. We can say happy days. Let's generate some little bit of extra life with Sycorax. And it should, famous last words, be plain sailing from here. Gonna make hay while the sun shines, getting all these blue, get a bit of extra life. It only costs you one, one point every time you do an action like that, so the extra benefit it gets you from all that extra health, just to be sure, is really cool. And I should have had a check around actually, I forget, I've, I've only started using this team, I created it last night. And I do forget at the moment to look around sometimes for the um, Mirage Queen greens. I could have had some a moment ago and completely missed it because I'll just get carried away with <laughs> casting Sycorax. Now, all these green look, we must have something here somewhere. Gotta be. Mm, better ain't. Not a full match anyway, but the first one is entangled. So... I'll grab them. So there's a lot of green there. You can cast it on green still and then create a load of green for Mirage Queen at the same time. That can work. So just one more time, just want to get a mixture of green if I can. Right, that's worked now. So we've got a nice lineup on that. So what I'll do first is grab the non entangled one to the front. He's now entangled. And now we can. Zap him with Mirage Queen. He's charged again. And we've got it again at the top there. How much are we doing? 120. Not quite enough to kill him off. So I'll do this first. And then it is now enough. Not enough for the team charged though to get particularly amazing points. But 1,771 there. Yeah, it's a good, effective team. It's got a lot of good things about it. It's got a, um, you know, you've got the protection of the elemental third third trait. You've got the fast start. You've got the cleanse with Beatrix. You've got Sycorax being a mana generator and a health giver. There's a lot going on in a good way in that team. So uh, there it is. Let's uh, see what that gave me in total. 9,523. Not too bad, not fantastic, but it's okay. But there's a video. If you enjoyed it, be cool if you liked and subscribed if you've not done so already. But most of all, thanks for watching. See you again next time. Bye for now.